I'm home! Oh, hey. Your letter from Hogwarts came. <gasps> it did? to inform you, but your admission to Hogwarts has been denied. Better luck next year. <laughs> Hi everyone, you're watching The Final Cut, a show where we make drinks and food from movies and TV shows. And tonight, we're doing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm really excited. I like the Harry Potter stuff at Universal Studios. He thinks he's too cool for Harry Potter. Harry Potter is cooler than you. There are a lot of wonderful foods to choose from in this film. Alas, we have chosen to make these pretzel and cheese broomsticks. I found the tutorial for these broomsticks at one little project at a time. Thanks, Debbie. In this film, Harry receives his first broomstick, the Nimbus 2000, from Professor McDonagall after he made the Quidditch team. I've got something for you. Freud, I know you've sat on it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. I also had no doubt in my mind that I wanted to make the cake that Hagrid gave to Harry for his 11th birthday. We'll get to the food in a bit, but first... How about a couple drinks? Our drink tonight is inspired by the troll that broke into the castle, and from my impression, he was just looking for a place to take a piss, and just wanted some privacy. So after a slight altercation with the bad CGI version of Harry, he ended up sticking his wand up his nose. Gross. Cool. Probably still having to pee, they ended up knocking him out with his own club. And when Harry went to go retrieve his wand, ugh. So color me inspired, that's what we're making. Troll bogey cocktails. All right, so for this drink, I got everything green that I could think of. Green juice was actually kind of hard to find, but I did find it. It's Hawaiian Punch Green Berry Rush. Okay, and then we have Sour Apple Pucker, and then just some Sprite to add a little bubble. I like the bubbly. We got some green grapes to make the garnish that's gonna look like big old snot rocket. Okay, so let's start with the wine punch first. Oh, a little bit of that, you know, and you know we don't measure out anything around here. Okay, we'll go ahead and add the sour apple pucker. A little bit of Sprite. That should be good. I'm gonna shake it this time. I bet the top won't pop off for me. That's how it lets you know that it's ready. Oh, nice and booger colored. All right. All right, let's do our booger garnishes. The troll bogeys. <laughs> That's what they call them. Oh, troll bogeys. I thought it was funny. Okay, you wanna put three on yours? I'll do three on mine. They're like rotten boogers. See, they look, it looks like a booger in there, like a big giant booger. I also thought it would be funny to just like pour some icing in there and see what it looks like. It'll be like wet snot. Oh my God, that's so gross. Let's just, let's lay it like across the grape. That's funny, it's so funny. Our finished troll bogey cocktail. Cheers. That's delicious. Not bad. Oh, mm. very nice. So do you remember in the movie when Harry got his first broomstick? Yes. The it was first. called the Nimbus 2000. Well, that wasn't his first. He had one before when he was at his... That was at the, like the practice? Yeah. That was actually just the schools. This was actually his, and it was given to him by Professor McDonagall after he made the Quidditch team. Got it. It was very special. It's like one of the first things that he really called his own, besides Hedwig, his owl. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the pictures that I found online were pretty self-explanatory. It was like you cut the cheese like so. Mm -hmm. And that will be the tip of the broomstick. And then you just take, go ahead and do your own. Do and then very carefully, not all the way through, like about yay so, you're gonna cut. And then that will be our broomstick bristles. Okay. Is that what it's called? It's a little tricky cutting it. It doesn't have to be perfect though. So you see, I already, three across will give me four Oof. pieces. And then you're gonna flip it the other way and kind of just do the same thing. There you go. And then stick your pretzel in there. Oh, see, mine broke. That's okay. There's our little, there's my broom. Hmm. Uh-oh. Did, did you mess up? Just I don't think that's going to Eat work. the evidence. Oh, shoot. I messed up, too. I just got <laughs> all the way through. I didn't know what we were doing at first. You know now? Yes. Are you sure? I think so. is when you stick it through it like splits the cheese it's still acceptable oh fuck i messed up this is a lot harder than it looks if hermione was here she'd be really letting us have it stop 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 you're going to take someone's eye out okay so we got three. Oh, drew well the first one turned out good these kind of suck it's all good are you having a nice snack yes so any type of cheese that's a lovely noise. Any type of cheese, I always love to dip it in mustard. So we have a regular yellow mustard and, and a stone seed mustard. And a stone ground mustard. It's not spicy. Not spicy. Stone ground. And so, a little bit of honey. Actually, let's use pretzel stick to mix it. Sure. You want to mix it? Go ahead. Good? Pretty good to me. Pretty good. Homemade honey mustard is always like 10 times better than the store-bought kind. You ready for the cake? Let's do it. So I made the cakes earlier. You've already seen us make a cake, so you know that we're capable of doing it. But this time I, I had a little bit of a boo-boo. Boo-boo number one, this, the, this cake kind of fell apart, so I had to very carefully hold it together with icing. And boo-boo number two, is that the cake was actually supposed to be chocolate. That slipped my mind somehow. The only time in the move in the book, it explains that it's a, like a very moist chocolate cake, I think is what they say. The only time in the movie where they show what the inside of the cake looks like is when Dudley is eating it. Dudley. I'm sorry. There's going to be chocolate in it. Okay, so this is gonna be a double layer cake. Inside right here is going to be chocolate icing and then we're going to slice some strawberries to go inside too. You want me to do the uh, chocolate layer? I would love you to. Okay. And I'll slice the strawberries. Sounds good. Don't eat, don't eat it until well. you get it on there. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be just real gentle. Kind of. You I'll, see how? I will be very yeah, gentle. Yeah, you're ripping yeah. holes in no, it. I know. Do you want to do this instead? Yeah, maybe. I don't think you can go wrong with too much icing though. Oh, this all came from the same batter, so I don't know why this turned out to be like really fragile. Because this one is like totally fine and I cooked them at the same exact time. So me and baking just don't mix. Look at that. Whole tub of nice. chocolate is in there. Okay, I'm very careful. We put this one on top. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Why'd you let me do that? We, without putting the fucking strawberries in. Oh, I'm not doing well with this cake. Here, I can't lift that whole thing up. It's gonna break. I'm gonna lift this side very gently. Put the strawberries in there. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't think I can lift up anymore. Now, fortunately in the movie, Hagrid like sits on the cake while he is going to Harry, and it doesn't look that great. I mean, it looks good, but not that great. Let's see if I can hold this. This is not working. Stay. Okay, but I am gonna spread the frosting on if you don't mind, because I feel like we have to be ever so gentle. Son of a bitch.
It's kind of infuriating hmm. that I can't get like the most simplest things right. I'm messing up the cake. <laughs> Shit! 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 Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so Hagrid's cake kind of had like, you could definitely see some like messiness. Yeah. Shit. Shh. I see it. I see the hole. Okay, that's good. Drew's gonna do the lettering on the cake. Pressure. The pressure is on after the work of art I did. Can I try a couple letters? Sure. Oh, you forgot the H. What the fuck? Happy birthday. Okay, there's our finished cake. I think we can go ahead and actually just dig into this. Oh, that's a lot of frosting. Tastes good to me. All right, last up is our Birdie Box Every Flavor Beans. We're gonna each take five. I think I got one of every one in there. There we go. Okay, and you want me to go first? Let's go ahead. This one is either dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Strawberry banana smoothie. Well, that's good. That's good. What do you think this one is? Dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie? I think that's this one, bar for peach. Oh, great. Oh. I'm sorry. It's very stink taste. Oh. That's about all I can say. Go ahead. Okay, the white one, spoiled milk or coconut? Gotta help it's spoiled milk. Good. Spoiled milk. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll follow that up. I'm assuming this is the same one. That is rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn? You have such a delayed response. Even if it's buttered popcorn, I mean, I don't think it's <laughs> rotten egg, but it, even buttered popcorn, it tastes Yeah, nasty. I never liked that one either. <laughs> uh, this one is either stink bug or toasted marshmallow. Good luck. <laughs> All right, what is this? Uh, either chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Oh my god, I might throw up. Chocolate pudding? I guess. Okay. <laughs> Still tastes like crap. But, right, okay, know. this one is the dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What is this? This is like the pinkish color one. I don't see that. I think either. that's this one. Does it have specs? Yeah, it's stinky socks or tutti frutti. Oh, great. Oh, I get so scared. <coughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Are you gonna throw up? Go ahead and eat your fucking stinky socks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll finish it up. You can't go wrong. It's oh either my God, tooth. It's, still in there. <laughs> it's either toothpaste or blueberry, so I'll take either at this point. Mm, blueberry. Oh good. Was that the only good one you got? That was the only good I one I got. I think you were really confused about the taste of all of them. Like it took you a while to figure it out. Like I would bite into it and right away I knew what it was. Okay, well what I'm confused about is that this is somebody's job to like sit in a lab and like figure out that these things taste like what they're supposed to taste like. So how do you find out what a dirty dishwasher tastes like? Do you lick it? 
So these are the ones that we didn't get. The green one, it was booger or juice pear. Thank God. So it's I, somebody's I don't, job. I don't want either of those. It's somebody's job to like taste boogers. Do you think they taste their own boogers or somebody else's? I don't know. I'm gonna Which... look this up. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. See you guys next time. I still have stinky socks in my mouth.